Good morning, YouTube fans. This is Derek Lipsy coming to you live from my office. I'll be your tour on this crazy ride. Uh, today we're going to go over part three of what buyers need to know about this market, and we're going to be using an agent versus going on, on our own. And what I mean by that is a lot of people come to me, um, I find them, they call me on the phone, they're buyers, they're just kind of looking around, and what they're doing is they're kind of looking at homes they like, calling the listing broker, see if they can get a tour of it, which is fine. I mean, we'd be happy to give you a tour as long as you're pre-approved. But uh, what we're going to really look at is how do we get that search better? Because what you're doing is kind of just search going in alone, searching on your own, versus using the buyer's agent who's going to help you get the home, get a home that you're looking for, and meet your criteria in terms of size, amenities, location, and, and price, and, and kind of put you only in those homes to look at so you're not wasting your time. So we're going to kind of narrow that search down, whether it's a single, a multi, a condo, whatever you're kind of looking for, we're going to narrow that search range down to, uh, you know, just, just tightening that microscope so you can see exactly what you're looking for instead of looking at the, the market as a broad. Um, you know, I, I've met a lot of buyers that have been doing this for a year looking on their own. And the reality is when I get with them, if they decide that they want to work with me, we find their home in a few weeks. You know, because we're going to just narrow that search down and look for exactly what they're looking for and only focus on those kind of homes. Um, another thing we're looking at, though, is if you're out there doing it on your own, what you're looking at is you're looking at what everybody else has already rejected or discounted. People have already seen these homes and said no to them, and you're seeing what they didn't want. As a buyer's agent, what we're trying to do is get you in front of some of the homes that either just came on the market, so you're first in, or haven't even hit the market yet and are going to be coming on. That's the inside track, and as an agent and a buyer, you want to see what's out there. Um, we're also going to help you negotiate the lowest price out there. Uh, if I can't find you a home that's actually on the market now, so we've looked at everything, you say there's nothing to see, I'm going to start going using other sources. Now, not all agents do this. They just show it's active and they wait to see what else is coming on. That's not good. You want to have someone that's going to work for you and in terms of trying to find you the best home. You, you know, So we're going to look at the expired listings, the canceled listings, look at the for sale by owners. We're going to try to negotiate a lower price for those people because there's usually only one agent involved. And if it's expired or canceled, the home hasn't sold guess what, we can probably pay wholesale versus retail, and these guys are probably just happy to get an offer as long as we give them enough time to get out of there. Um, but that's not what a good buyer's agent does for you. They're gonna help you look at a home, and once we find the home, we're gonna do a sort of a, CM, a reverse CMA. We're gonna take a look at that home, see what it's really worth, and give you an idea how to bid to get to the price where it should be at, and let you know if you're overpaying or not, in terms of uh, when you make your bids. Now, in, in this marketplace, I should say, a lot of buyers get caught up in the th negotiations. They get caught up in one or $2,000, 10000 5000 You know, the difference in this rates right now, are the, hovering around 4%, over a 30-year loan, uh, for every $10,000, it's only 40 bucks more a month. So you want to look at that with a grain of salt and say, hey, I'm not gonna, I don't want to lose this house for 2500 bucks because I can't get the seller to budge. It's only going to cost me a difference of $10 more in my payment. You know, look at the the uh, monthly payments versus the overall payment on, on terms of uh, when you get a home. I mean, obviously you're not going to overpay. If it's overpaying, you don't want to do that either way. But the reality is don't get hung up on these small negotiations, which is why we have a, an agent. We're sort of that third-party buffer that's going to keep you moving along and give you sound advice. We're going to find a home in your price range. We're going to find a home that has what you want in it in a location that you want. And we're going to kind of cross-check and make sure there's of the crime area, make sure there's no sex offenders out there. It's a safe environment for your family. And that's the stuff that we do on a regular basis so we know exactly what we're doing. And again, the best part of this whole process for a buyer's agent is it doesn't cost anything. I mean, come on, you're going to... Go it alone and, and risk legal, legal, little bit of legal ramifications on this property. You want to go with somebody who knows what they're doing. Plus, if anything does go wrong, we have E and O insurance, which covers those kind of mistakes. So that you no, know, every step down the track, you're covered 100, percent and you're doing the right thing. But you want to find someone that you feel comfortable with and is going to work hard for you. You don't want someone who just sits in the office for two, three hours and goes to the second job, doesn't care, and sends you emails. That's not being a good agent. You want someone who's going to take you out and show your properties that are going to be suiting your family's needs. Now, you have to be prepared to buy when we show you these homes. You know, if you find something that you like, you can't dwell on it because the longer you dwell, it gets scooped up. Believe me, good homes get sold every single day. So you don't want to waste in this market any time at all. The good homes get gobbled up. You see something that you like, it's in a good condition, it's in a good location, it's time to make the offer. You know, and again, we'll guide you through that process of making an offer and negotiating. And in, fact, in fact, that's what tomorrow's episode is going to be on, is how to negotiate the lowest price for yourself and your family. And that's what we're going to cover tomorrow. Again, any questions at all, feel free to leave comments here. I've been getting a couple of them from you. I'll answer them on Saturday uh, on my show. Uh, again, my name is Derek Lipsky. I'm with Keller Williams, 508-326-5320. Again, I don't do this for fun. I do it to be number one. Talk to you later.